So my name is Ben Watkin Wynn. I am 23 years old and I'm from Kettering in Northamptonshire. I was working in a factory just like, you know, unloading lorries and everything, but sort of coming down to London every couple of days and just meeting people from the network and, you know, sending off applications to my relief project and people like that. And sort of making those, um, building those contacts up. Um, but again, it was a long time, and Mama Youth was the one who goes, no, right, let's get you into London and get you started. And yeah, here we are. I'd heard great things because I had a few friends who'd um, come up through it. So um, early on in my career, I did something called The Network, which is like four days up in Edinburgh. And there I met some amazing people, and a lot of the people there had come up through Mama Youth Project or it would be that year or like a few years before. And um, I met this person called Nikita Vyas and she'd um, just come off Mama Youth Project and she did the network and she was gonna go into the BBC comedy and she was like, oh, then you should do it. You should really do it. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll look into it. And so I did. And, um, you know, I ended up delving into the website and finding what it's about and I just fell in love. And I was like, well, that sounds like a perfect opportunity. And so I applied, but when I came out of the network, I was, um, you know, six months of my life just uh, working in a factory, sort of applying to BBC, etc, etc. But what I knew about Mummy Youth was that it had this amazing success rate. And also, it was the, um, you know, the message, which was, you know, getting underrepresented people into the industry. Um, and that it did so well at doing that. And so, you know, I was applying for BBC internships and I, you know, wasn't accepted uh, for whatever reason, just wasn't the right time. Before my youth project, I maybe didn't believe in myself as much as I do now, or I wasn't as confident. Um, you know, especially growing up a homosexual, that's what I am. Um, you sort of, um, you know, people around you and whatever may be putting you down a bit more than usual, um, and you sort of begin to believe that. And I think, you know, going through this process was a way of just going like, look, you can do amazing things with amazing people, and so do it. Right now I'm a production secretary, um, working in scripted drama and film, hopefully, sometime in the future. Maybe. Um, and ideally I want to become a producer. And so for me, I think, coming up from Mummy Youth Project, it was, I, I knew I wanted to do scripted, but it was um, whereabouts in scripted I'd like, like to go. And just having the facilities there to learn about, you know, I know it's a bachelor entertainment show, but learning about the other departments in the industry and um, talking to Tors and you and whoever else and just saying oh to get into scripted you can go to development and you can go into production and um, I know I could smash out production and I know my CV would sort of align with that um, and so that is the path I've taken and that's the path I'm doing at the moment hopefully we'll jump into a producer this way you know I'd love to do a development role but I do think sometimes you know when you go to development house you, you're expected to um, have certain things on your CV which may be you know, more aligned with that. So I do script reading on the side as well with fantastic advice from people at Moe Project to do that. Cause has been absolutely invaluable to me. Um, like, you know, like you say, just in, in terms of telling, you know, guiding me through the roles in the various departments which I had no clue about uh, before coming out to Moe Youth Project and uh, truly understanding that. Um, but then also, She's just an amazing person to talk to. But what I'd, I'd like you to know is that Mummy you produce an amazing um, opportunity for those people who aren't represented, who don't come from financial backgrounds and don't, um, or privileged backgrounds, um, who are not able to make it, you know, put their foot in the door. Um, and so once they have that, I think it's up to people in the industry like, you know, me now and other people who are, um, you know, the higher ups to, um, to actually help those people and mentor them through it. Because I think that's where we can make the biggest change. We can just go look that there's this person who has a lot of potential who, um, you know, just needs a bit of guidance and, you know, can help them through it. Like when I, when I become established, I want to be able to take maybe create a new role and just have like a constant producer assistant or however it may be and just say look like your BAFTAs are my BAFTAs you know whatever you're getting <laughs> I hope you know you've got to say thank you when you're on stage um but yeah that's what I hope to do.
So it was back in the day of just, you know, not knowing what freeways and things are on a set. So on set, when the actors are all in their separate rooms, they have like trailers. And um, so it was the end of the day, everyone's gone home and um, someone's like, Ben, we need to go put all of the gifts into each of the trailers. And so I was like, yeah, great, let's do it, let's do it. So I grab like, I grab the flowers and I grab the chocolate. So I'm running around like, you know, having like my arms filled like this and like jump down onto the floor and like run across the trailers. And I'm knocking on the doors, the producer's going in and putting the chocolates and the flowers down. We get to the third one, I open the door and he goes in and um, there's someone getting changed. A cast member getting changed. Who, um, <laughs> And I was like, what is it? Just looking in the other direction, like holding the door, like, oh, he's like, Ben, Ben, Ben. So I, cl I close the door, I look, I look and I close the door and I'm just like, oh no. And so I shrivel up in the ball and just have these like two orchids beside my head. And I'm just going, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> and luckily, luckily th this producer who I couldn't read at the time, I, I was like, well, I don't know what's, what he's gonna say, but he um, sort of tried to hold his laughter back. I'm just like, you just must knock, you must knock.